Hi, this video is going to work through the second scenario in the review questions for the midterm. This is going to cover questions 4 through 10. So these are based on the scenario. There are three coworkers who share an office. Alex walks to work, Sam takes the bus, Jordan drives. Although all three coworkers officially start work at 8 a.m., they all arrive at slightly different times. On 40% of the days, Alex beats Sam to work. On 30% of days, Alex beats Jordan to work. And on 55% of days, both Sam and Jordan beat Alex to work. So then there are a series of questions about probabilities of events. But when I'm faced with a situation like this, I like to start by drawing a Venn diagram and then use that to answer the questions. So first of all, I've got 40% of days, Alex beats Sam to work. So I'm going to call um, S the event that Alex beats Sam to work. And I'm told that on 40% of days, Alex beats Sam to work, so the probability of S is 0 0.40. Okay, I'm also told that on 30% of days, Alex beats Jordan. So Alex beats Jordan to work, and I'm going to call that event J. And that has probability 0 0.30, since so 30% of days. And then on 55% of days, both Sam and Jordan beat Alex to work. So if I'm looking at drawing a Venn diagram, here's the part that represents Sam, Alex beating Sam. Here's the part that represents Alex beating Jordan. Both Sam and Jordan beating Alex is this part out here. It's not in either of those events. That has a 55% chance. Now what this means is that the probability of this union has to be 1 minus 0.55 or 0.45. Now, I can use this information to figure out the probability of the intersection because the probability of the union is equal to the probability of S plus the probability of J minus the probability of the intersection. I know the probability of the union. I know the probability of Alex beating Sam. I know the probability of Alex beating Jordan. And I can solve this for the probability of the intersection. So this gives me 0.7 minus 0.45 is equal to the probability of the intersection. This would be Alex beating both Jordan and Sam. And that is equal to 0.35. So now I know I have 0.35 here. I had to write that kind of tiny, but there it is. The total probability of 0.25? No, I'm sorry. That's point. 0.25, not 0.35. There we go. 0.25, right? Now, the total probability of beating Jordan is 0.3, but 0.25 of that is in this intersection. So that leaves 0 0.05 left here, where Alex beats uh, Jordan to work, but not Sam. Alex beating Sam has a probability of 0 0.4. 0 0.25 of it is in this intersection. So that leaves 0.15 here as the probability that Sam beats, um, sorry, that Alex beats Sam but not Jordan. And now I've got sort of a complete idea of what the probability is of each of the possible events. So now, what is the probability for number four? that Alex beats 
both Sam and Jordan. So that's the probability of that intersection. And we found that already to be 0.25. Question 5 asks, what is the probability that Alex beats either Sam or Jordan to work? Remember, or, when we're taking a mathematics class, is an inclusive or. It includes the possibility of both. So that is the union. Either or. Um, so that is 0 0.45. We already found that. Question six asks us if Alex beats Sam to work. Okay, so given that he beats Sam to work, what is the probability that Alex also beats Jordan? Probably beating Jordan if he beats Sam. This would be the probability of beating both Jordan and Sam to work divided by the probability of beating Sam to work. So give us our probability of our intersection is 0.25. Probability of beating Sam to work is 0 0.4, which gives us 0 0.625. Question 7 asks, are the events that Alex beats Sam to work and Alex beats Jordan to work independent? So to check, I check to see if the probability of the intersection is equal to the probability of the product. Sorry, the product of the individual probabilities. And since these are not equal, they are not independent. Now, moving down to the later part of this scenario, We're going to consider the random variable x, where Alex is the uh, one if Alex is the first to arrive. So if Alex is the first to arrive, that would mean he beats both Sam and Jordan. So the probability of this event, I'm just going to keep track of here, is 0.25. If Alex is the second to arrive, it means that he beats either Sam but not Jordan or Jordan but not Sam. If I add together my 0.15 and my 0.05, I get a total probability of 0.20. And then the probability that he is third to arrive is that's the chance that neither one, he beats neither of them. And that is our 0.55 that we're given. So, working here, my probability mass function for x f of x and x x has the possible values 1, 2, and 3 the probability that x takes the value 1, little f of x, is 0 0.25 the probability that x takes the value 2 is 0 0.20 and the probability that x equals 3 is 0 0.55. So there's our probability mass function. Now I'm going to calculate the mean of x. The mean, which is the expected value of x. Remember I calculate by summing up for all the values of x in the support. I take x times the probability of x, little f of x. So in this case, that's 1 times 0.25 plus 2 times 0 0.20 plus 3 times 0.55. And altogether, that gives me 2.3. For question 10, I'm going to calculate the standard deviation. Remember, the standard deviation sigma is the square root of the variance.
And the variance of x, remember, is the expected value of x squared minus the mean squared. And we already calculated the mean. So let's find the expected value of x squared. Here I'm going to sum over all the values in the space here. Um, x squared times f of x, which gives me 1 times 0 0.25 plus 2 squared times 0 0.20 plus 3 squared times 0.55. If I go through this, then the expected value of x squared is equal to 6. Now, my standard deviation is going to be the square root of that expected value of x squared, 6, minus the mean squared. Of course, I'm going to take the square root of the whole thing. And that gives me, if I round to four decimal places, 0 0.8426. And there's our standard deviation. So that brings us through that second sort of scenario in the review exercises. That's the end of our video.